Pre-built gaming PCs can be a great value, but there's one huge problem every single one of them are going to run into, which I will explain at the end of the video. Here are my top five pre-built computers under $1,000 in 2024, plus a few bonuses. First up is a PC from STG Obron. The benchmarks for this and all of the other computers that you see throughout the video will of course be on screen so that you can get an idea of the performance to expect alongside the links to each of these will be down in the description if you decide to go and purchase one of them on Amazon. The main reason that I like this computer is mostly due to the aesthetics. There's not many computers that you can buy, pre-built computers, quote unquote, that come in a case like this. It reminds me of the Lee and Lee case, and I have in fact used the white fans that are actually installed in this PC and there's a ton of really awesome options as far as customization goes. Now as far as the CPU in this, it's going to come with an Intel 10700KF which might be a little bit outdated now because we're into the 14th generation of Intel but this thing is no slouch. It boosts up to 5.1 gigahertz out of the box. This computer also has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 1 terabyte SSD, the RTX 3060, and then it's going to come with Windows 11. This is going to be a great computer for those of you looking to get into the 1440p territory when it comes to gaming. The only downside that I can see to this thing is that the motherboard is a micro motherboard, which isn't going to hurt the performance or anything like that. But aesthetically, the motherboard is a little bit small for the case that this thing is in. And then for the CPU cooler, I personally do not really care for fan coolers in computers but overall this thing looks awesome and i do think that this is a great value the second pc is going to be from msi personally i don't really care for this case but spec wise this thing is an absolute steal not only is the computer specced really well, but it's also going to come with a free mouse and keyboard, which yes, I know not technically free when you're paying for the computer, but it is still a nice bonus to come with a computer when you're buying it. This is going to come with a brand new 13th generation CPU from Intel, specifically the i5-13400F, and then the GPU in this is going to be a bump up from the other computer that we talked about and will come with the RTX 4060, the 8 gigabyte version, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, plus a one terabyte hard drive, so two terabytes of storage in total. It's gonna have a motherboard that offers the new Wi-Fi 6E, has Bluetooth, and then overall, this is just a great computer. For the third computer, if it is not already obvious yet, we are going in order from least performance to best performance in these computers. And this is going to be from a company that I fully support. This is gonna come with an RTX 3070. Now do keep in mind that this is technically better than an RTX 4060 Ti on paper however if you plan on using the new ai features that nvidia offers the dlss 3.0 or 3.5 or whatever version dlss is on at this point then the 4060 ti is going to be a clear winner when it comes down to frame rate but if you're just looking to play games in their natural resolution without AI trying to super sample everything, then the 3070 is going to perform better. This is going to be an AMD build, so it comes with an 8-core Ryzen 5700X CPU that also comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM. So this is going to be a really good computer for people looking to get into content creation. It's going to come with a 512 gigabyte NVMe, but don't let that throw you off because it does also include a two terabyte hard drive. It's going to come with Windows 11. And overall, I think that this case is awesome. I really like the infinity mirror on the front of it. And just overall, man, I think that this is going to be a really good value, especially for those of you that are looking to get into content creation. Now, this is $80 over $1,000, but I just, I had to put this on this list. The fourth computer on this list is probably one that all of you were waiting for because it's one of the more popular computers on Amazon or not popular computers, but I want to say popular computer brands on Amazon for a good reason as well is because, you know, they've gotten to a point where they've scaled their company to a point that they're actually able to offer really, really, really good prices on pre-built computers. And that my friends is a Skytech gaming Shiva gaming PC. This is going to come with an i5 12400F, the RTX 4060, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 650 watt power supply, and then Windows 11, if any of you want me to build you a computer, then feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. Just send me a message, send me a message on Twitter, send me a message on Instagram or anything. And I'm more than happy to build you a computer. 
Now let's get into the three bonuses. The first one is a Gigabyte Aorus Project Stealth. Now this is a wireless cableless computer and they did an amazing job on this. But there's one thing that I want to make very clear right now. You are going to have to get a CPU. You are going to have to get a CPU cooler and you are going to have to get RAM. This is not a fully built computer. They just did all the cable management for you, installed the motherboard for you, installed the GPU for you, etc. I have multiple videos going over how to actually install a CPU, how to install a CPU cooler, how to route the cables, how to plug cables into the motherboard for the cooler, and all of that kind of stuff if any of you do end up running into trouble and decide to buy this. But I do want to make it clear this is not a fully built computer. It is just a cable that has been somewhat pre-assembled for you. The second pre-built computer is actually a pre-built computer. However, it is $700 above the original budget but I do think that this is worth the extra $700. And then my favorite computer out of all of these is going to be the Skytech Gaming Kronos Gaming PC that comes with an i7-13700K, the RTX 4070, which is hands down my favorite GPU of the 40 series. Yes, I'm fully aware that a 4090, which is what is in my computer, is going to be better. But as far as like value to performance, the 4070 is hands down my favorite 40 series GPU. The reason this is an honorable mention is because it was literally double the price of the title of the video. It's $1,999, not under $1,000. And now for that one con that I mentioned at the beginning of this video that every single pre-built computer is going to run into. Pre-built computers are very similar to consoles. They have a lifespan. And I'm not talking about lifespan performance wise. I'm talking about a lifespan if you ever decide that you want to get more out of your computer. People like me that are building custom computers for you, build them intentionally so that it is easy for you to upgrade because as a business which is what i am i am a business if you want to upgrade your computer and you don't want to do it yourself you will bring it back to me and that will make my life easier upgrading one thing rather than having to build you an entirely new computer so i just wanted to get that out there yes you can probably build these computers for a cheaper price if you get all the same cheap parts inside of them. But the reason custom builds cost more is because we are using better components, which comes at a cost, comes at a price. You know what I mean? You don't you don't go buy a Honda and expect Lamborghini performance. You know what I mean? So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already. The links to everything will be down in the description below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.